Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in, this is Jacob of Paradox Multimedia, and as all viewers will know, new and old, that music has always been a pretty big part of my channel, starting all the way back in 2017 when I uploaded the monstrosities that at the time I called music. And here I am now, 2021, with three albums and a much wider skill set. But we're not talking about me or my music today, rather we're going to be talking about my friend Ethan or Blue Lays. So Blue Lays has also been a part of this channel for about as long as it's been around, maybe not quite. And taking inspiration from me, he decided to make music for his own channel with not great results to start. Like me, he has now improved greatly and has much better music than before, but of course you can't forget the past. Or you can, but if you forget it, it'll come back to haunt you. That was a weird way of dancing around the those who forget their history are doomed to repeat it sort of thing. So, because Ethan decided he wanted to review my music, I thought it'd only be fair to return the favor. But, instead of starting right in the middle, I am going to be starting at the beginning. That's right, in today's video we're going to be revisiting A Blast from the Past, Ethan's very first EP, Paralyzed. Before we get into it, I hate to bring it up, but I thought you guys should know that only about 50% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed, so if you actually enjoy my videos and don't think I'm annoying as frick, leave a like on this video, subscribe and click the notification bell to keep up to date with my content as it comes out, and what the heck, share the video around, let people know. That being said, let's get right into this. So the opening piano melody sounds similar to the track Tall by Napsa Blocks, which is interesting because this is... Uh, released three years earlier. Okay. So that synth comes in really awkwardly. Like, it doesn't feel timed right at all. And that riser and buildup came in way too quick. And there's a very jarring, like, tempo shift. The... It's a bit offbeat, it feels, with the drums. That, that transition was very messy. It sounded kind of like he forgot. Like, like this is made on Music Maker Jam. So, like, it sounds like he wasn't quick enough to, like, turn off the other tracks. Or, like, he just forgot to remove them. Now, that buildup was literally just, like, a riser and that wasn't even or if even that that might have been just like a reverse effect it's just and that that transition there is also very bad the structure of this song is really all over the place i'm not going to play you the rest but there's a third drop and all the drops are varying lengths. They don't seem to have like any precise timing whatsoever. And really just overall, the track is really, really repetitive. Um, I'm going to have to give this song a two out of 10. Okay. So that intro is pretty good. Uh, the drums are building pretty naturally, it seems. All right, it's pretty good synth. Melody is all right. Not sure really what that downlifter was with the riser coming in now. And there it is again. It didn't really go anywhere. 
Maybe it's not really a... It's either a riser or it's just like a rising synth that sounds like a riser. Weird kind of like reverse car horn sound there. That's interesting. There it is again. Is this supposed to be the drop? It doesn't really sound any different. And there wasn't any, like... There was nothing to it. And now here we are with, like, a complete... Okay. There was something new, and then it was completely short-lived. And there's that synth riser thing again. Like... Okay, this is completely different. How long is this gonna last? We're just kind of into the same bass that's been throughout the entire song. All right, I'm just gonna stop that there. It's almost the end, but um, yeah, it's very, it's a very repetitive song. Like, there's not much to break it up aside from like the same reverse car horn and like. I think it's saying backpack, that weird vocal sample there. I, I don't know. Um, well, yeah, kind of repetitive, not quite to the same degree that Paralyzed was. Um, there doesn't seem to be much of a distinction between different parts of the track. Like, there's no, like, verse or chorus or, like, anything like that. The one sort of build-up didn't go anywhere and it's like okay the drop was good but i feel like the way the song is structured it was just another like oh hey this is here it's different but how long is it gonna last because it's it's repetitive but it's also a bit sporadic uh which is a weird way of describing it. It's it's nice it's alright for listening to, but the lack of variation makes it kind of boring. Uh like I said, not a whole lot of structure. I will say this is a pretty good step forward. Uh I'm gonna say mm, three point five out of ten. Okay. Uh very strong uh, intro there. Uh, pretty good synth there. Um, could have stood on its own there, but uh, the vocals there uh, helps, I would say, I guess. I don't really know what that low sound before was, but it's all kind of come together here now. It's very interesting beat. It's not like, it's just like a few hits, but it seems to do pretty well. Uh, it's a weird kind of build up. Um, don't really, like all this build up so far, like don't really have any kind of tension or anticipation. And now the drop's already over, and like the downlifter is still coming through. I and mean, it was a neat drop, but eh. Now 
that I hear, I don't think the synth works all that great with the vocals. And here we are going back into another one. I mean, it was kind of cool how he, like, had the drums come in a little early, but that didn't really... I still didn't do much for the build up there. It's it feels a little rushed. And now we're back again, though that one that transition wasn't okay. We're at some weird kind of like bridge here. All right. So this one uh, ends up having a similar kind of structure to Paralyzed, where there's like three drops and like three verse bits, I guess. That kind of bridge bit where I just stopped it as well. Um, it kind of jumbles things together. Like, let me show you. He does this thing at the end where it kind of throws a few things together that, to me, doesn't really work. It is somewhat more interesting to listen to. I do feel like things move too quickly in this, though, to really, like, like no one idea is there long enough to really, like, settle and... I don't know how to describe it. It just, it doesn't feel like it was executed as well as it could have been. Um, so, I'd say this is, I'd say it's a little better than uh, Electro. So, give it a, give it a 4 out of 10. Okay, so, not an actual critique of the song. But for some reason, he decided to put an intro at the beginning of this, as well as mobile What's gameplay with voiceover, all before like the bit. actual song. An exciting one. One year. Like this is a, f um, this is a whole minute old YouTube. that this goes on. So I'm, I'm just gonna uh, skip this. I guess this. you could say I'm doing something special because later today, along with this video. This one has a very strong intro as well. I feel like it's a lot stronger though. It's trapped, so it's supposed to be a little bit uh, in your face. The bass does sound a little blown out though. This, by the way, is a collab with uh, Blue. This isn't a song he made himself. Uh, we collaborated on this. And yeah, that bass is really loud. The voice, I would say, is a little loud as well. Uh, the vocal samples, little, little blown out as well, but you don't notice it quite as much because of the bass being just like. <laughs> but see, this is this is a good build up. Go, go. Now here the bass doesn't sound too bad. This is a pretty good drop uh, for both him and I early on. Like even about the time this song came out, I still struggled with drops in my own music. But this is definitely, I'd say one of the best drops and one of my favorite drops to have ever worked on. So the bass is a little blown out now. At least, it sounds like it to me. I like this little melody playing under it, I guess. And see there, it's it's a little sun, but I think it works for this uh, little transitionary bit into uh, the next verse, which does use this same 
the same horn blasts and this like uh, kind of string pad. There's the melody again. And this you can definitely hear how like, I made the vocal samples a bit too loud. And here this melody is a little loud too. Um, I honestly can only understand half the vocal samples. Oh. So that second build up isn't quite as good because it just like takes center stage and just like everything before is just gone. And there's these different horn blasts. It's all right, but it doesn't, I don't think it fits the song quite as well. I didn't have quite the same impact that the first drop did. It's, it's not bad. Is that a pretty good 808 there? The vocals sound a lot better here as well. This song also uh, is the first song of his, like that he has a part in, that has like real structure to it. I feel like this might have helped him a little bit as he went on with uh, figuring it out. Not like immediately, he didn't like, oh, so that's how you make a song, but no. Uh, it's also not super repetitive. And this outro I really like. Um, meshes pretty well with uh, a second drop going into this more like laid back kind of feel. And then this nice uh, little arp melody, I guess. Uh, yeah. I think this is really good. Not to toot my own horn, Blue did have a part in this song as well. Uh, 6 out of 10, easily. Alright, pretty good start. There's a little bit of silence at the beginning. Nice eerie dubstep feel. That reverse piano was pretty good. Okay, now it feels like it's trying a little too hard to be dubstep. Seems to have balanced out a little bit. Oh. Well, here we are. Interesting flow. Still a bit sudden with changing to different bits, but this is pretty good. Still that dubstep feel. It's repeating a lot of stuff, but still managing to not be, like, super repetitive like the others. Because there's enough variation going through this that it's, like, it feels more like consistency than repetitiveness. So that Vox there and such doesn't feel necessary to me. Yeah, it doesn't... It feels a bit out of place, because... It just feels like it would have been better without it. Just 
throwing in random vocal samples doesn't really like unless you time it well it like you can't just be random with it okay I kind of like saw stab it there. It's jarring. The alarm sounds don't don't mesh well. Here it, fa it feels like it's trying hard again. It's trying too hard. And there's the box again. I don't like that. All right. So that one was a little short. Um, just like, um, just like Electro, it didn't have much of a structure and it kind of worked, but it would have been nice. This being a dubstep song. If it like actually had some buildups, um, something more to it i guess to really give it that eerie feel to raise attention um i don't know i had a very promising start but it as it went on it spiraled and did not recover so i'm gonna say this one is uh I say this is about a four out of ten. All right, getting right into it. Okay. Okay, then. I can vibe. It feels like it didn't really know where to go, so it just like went to something completely different. consistent here but like it's a vibe it's a bop but like like there really didn't transition like there was a downlifter but there was like no difference So it feels it it has a few too many ideas thrown in in a short period of time I feel like especially before the drop um like I said it like gets into it but then it like doesn't really know where to go so it tries a few different things before getting to the drop um and like there's a spot where the riser comes in, but it doesn't really do anything. And it just comes out of nowhere. It feels like it's like heading somewhere, but it stays like right where it is for far too long. In some places it just doesn't move at all. Um 
I hate to say it again, but this one is it's sort of repetitive. Um let's say this one is about uh let's say it's about on par with Electro. 3.5 out of 10. So that was an interesting experience. There's some good things we said about these songs as you heard but obviously if you turn on the radio and heard these you'd probably change the station so i hope you don't mind me taking a bit of a dig at your music blue lays obviously this is your earlier stuff and i can't expect it to be perfect or even on par with what you make now but sometimes it's good to take a look back and see how you've grown so that's that if you want to see more videos like this leave a like Subscribe to the channel if you want to support it and help it grow. I'm trying to hit 200 subscribers. I'm really close. And, of course, check me out on Twitter at ParadoxMM underscore for the latest updates. And check me out on Twitch.tv slash ParadoxMM underscore. I've started streaming recently, usually on the weekends, once or twice. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I hope you have a great day night. We'll see this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.